famous philosopher known as Gucci Man once said, even if I don't got money, I'll still have sauce. So today, we're gonna go to the thrift and get lost in the sauce. Alright guys, so today I'm gonna take you out to a couple of my favorite thrift shops that I like to go to. Where mainly where I find like a lot of my vintage stuff that I have that you will see on my Instagram, which is also like kind of why I want to do this video because I get a lot of questions on my Instagram like where'd you find this or like what store did you go to find it? And it's like and they're surprised whenever I tell them like it's thrifted and shit. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what type of stuff I find and stuff that you could potentially find as well. So here we go. This uh the first spot I'm going to, oh my God, who is that? Is she? <laughs> oh, this might not be a thrift shop video. This might be a pickup video, shit. All right, but the first one is uh, Pennywise. I'll show y'all what it looks like right now. We're gonna go check out the, Ooh, my boy Caballero. Let's see what they got. So as I'm going through this, I kind of notice this trash here is Team Lakers. Boys, get that shit out of here. It's all about the Pelicans. Mm, not really seeing much, but uh, I did come across this one. Oh, shit. So I'm here in the fitting room, guys. Check the drip out, bro. Fucking Lone Star, Gucci print, what? Let them know I banged that Texas. I'm gonna say, check this shit out right here, man. <laughs> I don't know how I'm still single, man. Look at this fucking fire. I make anything look good, dog. Damn, I swear. Now, this is the second shirt that I was talking about. Now, this is a shirt that I would say you wear with, like, when you're with your girl's parents, and then, like, they ask you, you, uh, you watch sports? You're like, hell yeah. And then you pull up with this shirt, and they're like, he a real one. Now, I don't even know who the fuck this team is. I'm not gonna lie. But I look like I know Donut with the whole head. Hold on, let me show y'all. <laughs> Can I talk about Skinny Legend real quick? Oh my God. Oh yeah, Pete the Tent. How is it? It's in that nasty stage right now where it's peeling. But it's all good from far away. That shit still look hard. But I'm here in the men's long sleeve section. And peep what I found that Tommy for your mommy. Shout out to Paul King too. Now, unfortunately, this is an XL. I do like loose fit stuff and like baggy stuff, but that's a little too baggy for my liking. But yeah, we're gonna keep looking around and see what we find. And this is the vintage stuff that I'm talking about that you find. Put a white shirt under it, and you just gonna be flexing on them. We might have to take that one. This one goes out to all my Mexican homies. They be wearing that PFG, knowing damn well they don't even fish. Here at the thrift, they got you more. Jewelry section, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of feeling that little one right here. So I couldn't get no one to open the thing for me right now, but we're gonna still look around and wait. Maybe after they're done doing what they're doing, we can like come and check it out, but. Well, maybe we'll come and check out the ring, but we might just have to shoot a movie today. What is this shit worth? We might have to shoot those vintage films with this. Those, those vintage porn. <laughs> One with the goat right here. I hope it fits. But yeah, this one. Yeah, I think this one's really nice. But it's broken, and you're supposed to be like that. Is it? I think it's like adjustable. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like it. I might just have to take this one. Thank All you right. so much, man. It's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the flannel we're going to take today. I really like it because it's just like, you don't see this type of pattern anymore. Especially with the more, uh, with the more modern flannels that they got in stores and shit. And it's kind of like the shit, though. So yeah, I'm gonna cop the new ring too. Yeah, but this isn't the shirt I would wear with like something like this. Maybe just a plain white shirt and stuff, but hell yeah, this shit gets vintage vibes. So yeah, I'm gonna go pay for this real quick. And 
So yeah, we just left uh, Pennywise. I'll show I'll show y'all when we leave, like as I'm driving off, like what it what it all looked like. But yeah, everyone's super nice in there. Like every time I come here, it's always warm welcoming. So I got the ring, and then I got a uh, long sleeve, and that's it. So now we're gonna hit up a couple more thrift shops. I'm not gonna lie, for my first time vlogging at a store, I was kind of comfortable. Like I was nervous here and there, but that's just because like. The workers kept looking at me and oh, there was this one girl that kept like looking at me and shit. And like, I think she thought I was like a big YouTuber, which I fucking am, but she don't know that. Um, so yeah, she kept like smiling at me and I, I could tell that she wanted to like say hi or something, but oh, well, I'm leaving now. Yeah, I'm making sure she ain't coming in like stalking my ass, but yeah. All right, we're off to the next one, geez. So this is what Pennywise looks like. The next one, uh, Goodwill. By the way, in this channel, we do not call Goodwill Goodwill. We call it Trillwill. So yeah, this is one of my other spots that um, a lot of my friends don't know about. Like it's like very low key because it's like in a shopping center that's like other that there's like other bigger stores like Home Depot, Ross, and like Dollar Tree. So I guess people just overlook this one. But yeah, um, this one's like very low key and shit. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all like some of the stuff you find here because. This whole badass, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the better Goodwills. Walked in here and we already got the heat on deck. Check this shit out. Whoo! What lights you want, baby? We got it. I like you, but you crazy. <laughs> it be like that sometimes. You peep that speed zone. Hit that. So as I'm going through all this clothes, I look right here and peep what I found. The North Face, right? Mm -hmm. But then we look at the at the stitching. This is this shit says the Nart Fuck. <laughs> Man, that's the that's the fucked up part about like finding stuff. You think you think you just gotta come up and then you look at the shit and then it's all fucked up. <sighs> that's the thing with thrifting. It's either a hit or a miss. Whenever I see shit like this, it kind of makes me want to go dancing and shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to talk some of this stuff just to go hit them dance floors. Now this is the vintage heat we're here for. Peep all of the squad in one fucking frame, bro. Hell yeah. My boy Goofy Entertainment here too. So as I was uh, checking it out, I noticed in the back, there's nothing for me to hang it on. So I think I might have to get a new frame or not. I might just have to leave it. So I'm like debating right now if I should get it or not. We'll see right now. I'm here in my favorite part of the section of the whole cliff, the greens and the yellows. And as I'm going through this shit, look at what I found, boss. 40s and shoties. This is a fucking cop for sure. I'm just gonna go make sure it fits, but bro, shit, peep the rainbow effect. My fucking Skittles logo type of shit. But yeah, I'm gonna go check this out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cop. So here we are, guys, with the 40s and shorty shirt. It looks good, it's just got a little too much TD action, you know? But don't worry, I'm working on this shit. I'm gonna work out when I get home so we can lose that fucking TD. I think I should cop for sure. You check that shit out, that shit is fire as fuck, it's just these motherfuckers ain't working with me. But yeah, I think I'm still gonna cut. So we just left Trill Will with the motherfucking 40s and shorty shirt. Um, I didn't really find nothing else. I was gonna get the the whole Mickey Mouse uh, frame thing, but there was nothing to hook it on in the back. And I just, I don't want to go through the whole trouble on fucking finding a frame. So, Because I tried doing that once with this Dragon Ball Z thing and... Man, I just ended up throwing that shit away, so... Yeah, here we are. Oh! That's my favorite part about Goodwill. There's a fuck Robins, y'all. I think I might want to get some ice cream, but I don't know. I don't know, G. The whole 40s and shorty shirt got me thinking I shouldn't be eating no more, so... We might just eat at home or something, so... Yeah, I got one more thrift shop to take y'all, and I think I might have to call it a day. I'll so here we are guys at our last stop. Uh, this one's Plato's Closet. Now I don't really consider this a thrift shop, but I'll be finding a lot of badass shit here too. 
not now some stuff is vintage and some stuff is more like modern like fashion but either way like you still find some nice stuff here um uh, homeboy spit out boy boy dripping on the fucking scene now this is the type of shit i'm trying to find so here we're going through all this monstrosity of clothes and look at this man. look at this bad boy got that deer you know we let this boy down, but we don't have to cop anyway. Yeah, that shit looks fire. I'm gonna have to go try it out. Yeah, so we're here in the fitting room. You're not gonna lie, I really fuck with it. Like, it's a little loose, but yeah, it's alright. I kind of like it. Like it. I think it's 100% cotton, so probably true. Another cop, man. Today's actually a good day for thrifting. Like, I was not expecting to find some of the stuff I found. Just left Plato's Closet. I was gonna look for, I was gonna look through their stuff a little bit more, but I got kind of tired. And I was just like, man, this thrifting shit really wears you out. Like, doing all, doing this movement specifically and then holding the camera while doing all this, because, like, all of their fucking racks are, like, super compressed with clothes and shit. So, uh, trying to hold the fucking camera and the clothes back fucking almost impossible so that's why i can't really film like my, me doing the whole movement and shit because it's like everything's like so compact that it's like almost impossible so we'll go home and do a quick recap on what i got guys we're back at the crib um gonna do a quick recap of what we got today but first i'm gonna give a quick shout out to this tote bag we're not using plastic no more we're trying to save the turtles gonna start off with the silver ring i got at pennywise Five bucks. She said it was genuine silver, but I don't know if it's true or not. Either way, I think it's a pretty badass ring. I'm gonna start off with the first piece of clothing that I found was this flannel that I got at Pennywise also. This one was five bucks. Like this type of pattern you don't see nowadays at the mall. Like they're all like different colored. Like they're around this like color palette and shit, but it's just, I don't know, something about vintage flannels I just fucking love. Right now in Texas, it's cold, but it's not cold at the same time. So like a nice little thin flannel, I'm pretty sure is good enough for this weather. Uh, the next piece that I got at Plato's Closet was this Dare shirt. It's a little big on me, but I'm pretty sure if I wash it once, it's gonna like shrink. So it'll fit me a lot better. But yeah, I've been trying to find a Dare shirt for a good minute. But these people are charging crazy money for like the vintage ones. I don't think this is a vintage dare neither. Or it might be. I'm not too sure. But either way, I'm super happy with it. Finally got one in the collection. For eight, eight bucks is not bad. And the last piece that I found today was this 40s and shorty shirt. It's yellow and like has this badass like color palette right here. I fuck with it heavy. But I don't fuck with the fit, man. It's not even the shirt's fault. I think it's just my fat ass fault that I'm a little big in the chest area, meaning I need to start working out. But yeah, um, oh yeah, that goes another thing. These, these, uh, uh oh, girl. What y'all like? If something don't fit me right, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm not gonna be here and just picking anything that fits me good and shit. So I'm gonna show y'all the real, the real footage of like if shit don't fit. So yeah. I hope y'all appreciate the rawness in me. Back to shirt. Love the shirt. I might just give it to uh, my sister though. Like, even though I want to wear it so bad, it's just this area. Look at this. It's already fucking titties popping out on the back. Uh, yeah, it's just not going to work for me. Maybe on the sides. I might just give it to my sister so she can rock it. So yeah, uh, I don't think you should be embarrassed to go to the thrift shop, guys. It's really fucking fun going, to be honest, especially with your friends. I only did it this time, like, going by myself because I wanted to, like, challenge myself, like, hey, try doing this by yourself and see how it goes. So, yeah, that's only why I kind of, that's, that's the main reason why I did it today, like, going thrift shopping by myself. But from here on on, I figured that it's like, fuck it. Like, it's kind of boring just being by myself. So I'll probably bring, like, a friend along. Maybe one of my fucking subscribers or like someone that watches my videos. Thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the fucking next one, G's. We fucking out.